All right, you guys, I'm gonna make this intro super, super quick. Welcome back to the channel. I'm actually hosting an open house right behind me. This is a five bedroom, four and a half bath basement home. This is bolstering just over 3,700 square feet. I don't wanna make this too, too long, but I got Marlon here with me. He was helping out actually host this open house. So let's get I straight into the video. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we actually got somebody coming right now. So I might have to cut this intro short, help these people, and then we're gonna get to the video, all right? Come on. Hey. All right, guys, I'm back. Had to go help the people that came to the open house. I'm with my man Yasin here. He's been helping me too. Let's get straight into this. Like I was saying, this is a five bedroom, four and a half bath home. 37, 43 square feet. Really nice two car garage over here. And guys, remember, like I said, the bread and butter for this home is that it is three stories. This is in Claremont, of course. They take advantage of the hills and actually duplicate a sense of a three story home. If we go down here, we'll actually have a separate entrance to that bottom floor. But we're going to start right here. We'll start with this first floor where we actually do have a master bedroom and master bath with a wraparound deck. So let's go inside. Let's get this done. As soon as you enter, this is pretty much here is going to be your basement. This is your formal dining here. All right, super, super tall ceilings, which is really, really nice. I'm going to estimate roughly 20 something feet. This is gonna be your kitchen here, right? Really nice countertops. I wanna say that they actually have an ensuite this way. So it's a really neat floor plan. They tend to separate all the, you know, important parts of this home very, very well. Once again, I am hosting an open house here. This is in Claremont, Florida. And guess what? No HOA whatsoever. So I'm gonna give you guys a good view. Very nice open to below concept with two bedrooms upstairs. But you know what? I don't even know where to start. There's so much for me to show you in this home, but we'll start with the master actually. So if we go through here, we actually see that they have the electric fireplace, very nice vinyl flooring, as well as ceramic tiling in the kitchen and the other areas of the home. This is your master tray ceiling, very, very nice. And this is gonna be your master bath. And right behind me, I actually have a surprise for you guys. So. This is very, very nice that they have set up. This home was built in 2007. The roof is original, 2007 roof. Very important information for you guys to know. And as far as ask price, I'm gonna tell you guys at the end of the video. So just stick around, because I wanna show you guys every aspect of this home before I get into the actual price. I'm gonna try to do my best job at, you know, giving you guys a really good description of what we got going on here. This is a really special listing because like you guys know, I have maybe two, three other basement homes, like a master closet on the floor. It's very nice. Walk in, come on guys. 3,700 square feet, it feels bigger just because they actually took advantage of the floor plan, right? This is not too common in Florida. So when you guys see basement home in the title, don't be surprised. I'm not clickbaiting you guys, but I'm just trying to give you some really good info. So right here is gonna be a wraparound deck really really nice views and like i told you you have a separate entrance to the basement so if you were looking for a home that you could possibly rent out the bottom half and live in the top and second floor you can do that without actually having any tenants uh visit to the front door remember we're in claremont the main point of claremont is that we have really really high elevation we have the hills everywhere so they take advantage of that like i mentioned to pretty much build a sort of basement per se so we'll head through here i'm going to show you the garage the ensuite and the actual laundry room here is the i'm going to say standard pantry it's not the craziest it's not too too big turn on the light for you guys but it's, it's sufficient i would definitely say it's sufficient i've seen smaller so i'm not mad here's your half bath downstairs all right very very nice and guys, they kept this home in pristine, tip-top shape, besides that roof. But you know, if this home generally interests you, just make sure you reach out to me and I'll pretty much give you the rundown on what can be done with this home. This is the ensuite. Turn on this light. For some reason, no light here. But guys, this, this floor plan has it all. It's very rare to find these in Claremont. And that's kind of why I wanted to position to you guys this home because I am doing an open house. I would have loved to have, to have invited everybody to see this video to my open house, but unfortunately I can't. Really, really nice size master. I mean, not master, full bath again. Sorry if I'm going a little fast. I'm just super hyped up. We had a lot of people come into the open house. So I was just going, you know, so I'm still ready guys, but here's gonna be a laundry room. 
I don't see space for a sink, but at least they added some storage with some nice quality countertops. Here's the actual outside view. And here's gonna be your garage. So again, the flooring is in good condition. Notice we have uh, storage up here. A majority of the appliances will convey with the cell of the house. So if that's something that interests you guys, just call the number down below. I'd be more than happy to not only give you the info for this home, but all the other uh, inventory that we do have in Claremont, Florida, Mineola, all over Central Florida. You know, I kind of encompass that. I really like the store that they have, to, that they have uh, this mounted TV in. Again, this was all done after the fact. Dining here is where we had the open house set up. So, you know, and I even love this. The fact that they have this little wine cooler here. I don't know what's in here more storage and you know they made this a very welcoming home in a sense right nice backsplash we already went through here actually we didn't this is the basement so we got options we can go upstairs or downstairs uh we'll start downstairs actually carpet i'm gonna give you guys what you want this time this is gonna be your basement per se bottom floor really nice ceramic tiling i don't see cracks not a crack in sight separate ac as well which is new and one thing that i do want to point out that i don't see very often is basement homes having an actual uh oven typically it's just a kitchenette without a burner and you just have to use a hot plate but they actually included that here which i love again this is no hoa and this would pretty much be your entrance to get in here if you had somebody living this can kind of be converted into a little bedroom. If you wanted to just separate maybe from here, that would be pretty sufficient for a bedroom, right? Because then you'll actually have access to this full bath. And just ideas to throw at you guys. This little nook here, this is for Micah. But you know, it's, it looks, it seems to be holding up pretty well. It looks rather new. I don't see any imperfections, so can't hate on that. And this is your bottom floor. All right, I'm gonna have to wrap this up because I have other people coming again. This banister here is upgraded again. I'm just happy that they didn't put just a plain wall. That would be pretty ugly. And everything as far as the carpet looks to be in good condition. So I'll show you what's up here and a nice view from the open to below concept. Little loft, rather narrow, but it is very, very nice. This is your upstairs view, got the car outside. And this is your cathedral ceiling, open to below view. Very, very beautiful. Very comparable to the Xbury model. If you didn't watch that video, it's a very, very big floor plan built by Lancy Homes. And I'm a big fan of it. So here's the little kids room. Of course, this home would likely accommodate children if you had, and Standard closet sizing, as I said. Remember, this is a resale home, but we have a lot, a lot of, oh, I like this. We have a lot of inventory coming, pre-construction coming. So if you're interested in purchasing a home, not only to live in, but for it to actually be a good decision in the future as to where you can actually take advantage of not only the builder's incentives, but the fact that every 10 to 15 homes that these builders sell per phase, they really tend to up the ask price or purchase price of the home. So instead of letting the developments, the economy build equity in your home, you can do it and pretty much get into a new community and let the builder build equity for you. I sold a pre-construction home and I think we were the 15th. And two days after we went on the contract, they increased the price, I believe like twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. So just imagine if that was gonna be the case per phase, what it's gonna be like when you get to phase two, three, and four. So I'll show you the actual backyard. So we're gonna have to head back downstairs, but it's okay, oh, I got lost. We're gonna have to head back downstairs and I'll show you guys the backyard and the exterior. So I'll just speed this up and we'll get there in a second. All right, we made it outside. Remember this is on 0.34 of an acre, so a little under half an acre, 0.34 guys. Claremont community. Very close to Highway 27, so look at this. 
this home just looks big it looks like a home from up north but we but we ain't up north remember this will kind of be your uh private entrance if you did rent it out and i know you guys see this sloping up so this is pretty much what we got i'll wrap around and bring you guys to the front and then we can just do the outro of this video so i'll speed this up again and i'll meet you guys in the front let's go all right and here we are i'm gonna set the camera down right here so guys thank you very very much for joining me in my open house we're doing a virtual one i had a lot of people come actually in person but i wanted to do this one so you guys could join me and i take you guys on a private tour all of my subscribers so i really appreciate you guys we are at 666 subscribers a lot of you guys aren't subscribed i watched the video so i would really really appreciate it if you guys could just press like and more importantly subscribe to the channel that way if you are searching for a home in central florida at least you have a contact that'll pretty much give you all of the inventory pricing information in my opinion on what would be the best course of action for you guys to take whether you have a family or not and you're looking for a home my name is brandon polito